Hello. Hey, hi. I am JP, John Paul Elliott, and uh, I am running for mayor. And I put this video on specifically um, on the About page because uh, Catherine has been my opponent, put this on. I guess she thought I had a lousy one. But listen, let me tell you something. The reason you want to vote for me over Catherine is that Catherine is not a leader. She is not fiscally a responsible leader for our city for sure. I mean, let's face it. How many real estate deals has she ever done? And she has her, the entire city in the palm of her hand. I've done hundreds. I've sold in 37 states. I've been a broker for 30 years. And uh, I, coming back as a resident to uh, Lucadia, my family has been here, but... Um, and raised here, and uh, it's a beautiful place, and it's heaven. It's really heaven on earth. But we have some people that have uh, other agendas. So if you like, well, here's what I'm going to do. Just, just to kind of get you the, the understanding of, of who and what I really am. If you would like to really see what these guys say in the back rooms, when you vote for me, I'm getting a camera, uh, one of the sheriffs is going to give me one of their body cameras, loan it to me or whatever. And so that when I'm talking to these guys in these meetings, that camera is going on. And if they've got some uh, hidden agenda or if they are not looking out for the best interest of our community, you're going to know about it. No hidden backdoor deals. And it's going to be broadcast live. And it's going to be on YouTube and Facebook. And I'll, you'll know which channel where it's at, how to get it. And you'll be able to see exactly what uh, the people who are supposed to be representing us are really doing and who they really are. And if they don't want to do that, if they don't want to be on videotape, because I have to let them know that they are, what do they got to hide? <laughs> what do they have to hide? Well, me as mayor, we've got a program. I call myself the man with a plan. And through all my years of real estate, I finally, God finally showed me what's up. The most valuable thing that we have is land where people can pay rent to sleep. This is actually all of the great millionaires and billionaires all started with real estate. That's how they all started. But they didn't sell it. They held it. So what we're going to do with uh, my community village plan which is the city of Encinitas is going to be its own developer, builder, and landlord on over 1,531 units, which we're being mandated by the state to have to build. And have to have a contractor. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's really, I mean, this is the mentality they got. Run, run. The state says, now, I've already checked with the city attorney. So this is all legal. We're going to build 1,531 community villages, units that people like. We're, talking, we're not talking, uh, you know, uh, Section 8 or, 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 or poor people from Compton or anything like that, okay? We're talking about school teachers, firemen, sheriffs, lifeguards, all the city employees, all the people that, that work here daily but have to commute because they can't afford rent. We're going to provide two-bedroom, one-bath apartments for $1,100 a month. And the people that, that will be living in these units are going to have more time with their family. They're going to be able to spend more money in the community. And here's the best part. The city is going to make almost $1,700,000 every single month for my community village project paid happily by the people who work here. Now this is really old school mentality. We're cutting out the developers. Who needs them? We understand how to build. Ah, we understand they're making big profits. Forget it. How much money do you need? So we're going to make our community uh, really a, a shining star. The very first one that will get back to what's real. We're not forcing our sheriffs and our firemen and our school teachers to drive in from Temecula or Chula Vista every day. No. We can provide housing for them. But here's the key. 
that'll amount to almost $20 million or close to $20 million a year income to the city. Can you imagine? No taxes, just an extra 20 million. If we do 3,000 units, it'd be 40 million a year without raising taxes, without going into debt. And that'd be every year from now on. Now, I just had my first grandchild and uh, he was born June 1st, another Gemini. I'm June 17th, 1947. And uh, where's he going to live? That's the same question I ask all the city council members. Where are your children and your children's children going to live? And they'll have a shrug. I don't know. That's the kind of <laughs> leadership we have. I don't know. Well, guess what? That kind of I don't know mentality, including Catherine, who really doesn't know at all. In fact, she wants to become somebody, uh, a big politician. Maybe she wants to be on, on the... Uh, on the, uh, you know, a supervisor. Oh, please. What a shame that would be. No, the truth is, we need to get a mayor, the, the job of a mayor, which is going to be my job, is to make sure that the, that the welfare of the citizens are really protected. So we're going to have a different kind of government. If With my body cam and with me really being into this, these guys are either going to toe the line, make it possible for us to be the number one city in the, in the entire United States to actually be profitable all the time without raising taxes. We'll have so much money we can have our streets almost paved in gold, for God's sake. All being paid happily by the people who, who work here. That's a terrific plan. And uh, we're going to stop Streetscape, who I can't find anybody who really wants it. The only one guy I found who wants it, kind of. So I don't know how they came up with this idea. And then beacons, please. Huh? Let's preserve beacons, you know. What the heck? There a word that's going to collapse? It's already collapsed. All you got to do is put a top on it. It's not, there's nothing more to fall down. And this is vegetated. It's sacred ground here, folks. I hope that you vote for me for mayor, November the 6th. Do not vote for Catherine. Catherine, you're going to get the same BS, the same lies, the same rhetoric. And she wants to be a supervisor or maybe assembly person. Ah, I have no desire to be a politician like that at all. I just desire to be the best mayor you've ever had to protect you protect my grandson, and have housing for my grandson and my grandson's grandson. Hello? Isn't that what we should be doing? Vote November the 6th. I'm JP, John Paul, Elliot the third. You guys, I love you. Let's make this thing happen. I've got the ability to do this, and I know it's legal, and we can do it. Vote no on you, by the way. It's a lousy law. Lousy. No streetscape. We're going to protect beacons. And we're going to provide housing for our families that need it desperately. So, that's who I am. That's what she's not. I would sure like to be your guy to make it happen. The man with a plan. I'm JP. Thank you very much for listening.